I obviously understand your decision to want to leave San Jose as soon as the team and the league told you it was okay. I mean, being close to family in a time like this is imperative if you can. That being said, I imagine the flight that you had to get on from San Francisco probably to Zurich or maybe Geneva was was maybe terrifying in a sense of boarding that plane and knowing the health status of the world. Yeah, hundred percent. It was uh, it was definitely a weird flight. Um, I once we found out, I can I can go home. All the guys like yeah, we were allowed to go home. I uh, I, I, I acted pretty fast and and, and booked the flight uh, here in my family. I went to Zurich, flew to Zurich, so the flight was definitely uh, weird. I was trying to be really cautious. Uh, you know, had luckily I had some uh, hand sanitizer. I had everything I touch, I'd sanitize my hands after him. A little too cautious sometimes, but yeah, in this moment you can't really be too cautious. So I was trying to, you know, really limit everything uh, and then, you know, don't touch too much stuff. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I made it here safe. I'm not going to say that I was ever a, a germaphobe before. I'd wash my hands a lot, especially after shaking hands, you know, with a lot of people in public. Um, but I'm, I think I'm noticing about myself even now that I, I may for a while, after all this is even said and done, I may be a bit of a germaphobe for a while, and I think that's understandable. Are you are you kind of sensing that too with yourself? Yeah, I'm the same. I always try to wash my hands and everything, but uh, now at this moment, I, you know, you really pay attention to it, uh, and and like I say, you, I'm always I'm, I'm too cautious. So I think it's definitely going to translate after this is over. I'm going to be uh, a little bit more careful than than I was before, yeah. but I think that's a good thing. What are you doing with your time? I mean, you're, you're following the rules. You're taking it even the extra step by staying indoors and at your place as much as possible. So how do, how do the hours go by? Um, I usually sleep a little longer than, than what I used to. So I uh, <laughs> usually get up in the morning and uh, get a workout in, you know, an hour or two. Just just get moving, try to keep the body in shape. Uh, and then, you know, it's the highlight of the day, almost getting lunch. And then in the afternoon, you just kind of hang out, uh, usually go for a walk. There's a little hill where I live. So I walk up there, there's no people up there. So get some fresh air there. And then, uh, usually just sit on my balcony, uh, enjoy the nice sweater, even though it's pretty cold here, uh, have a coffee and then, uh, you know, time, time goes by and then, you know, there's already the dinner time, which is another highlight. And then usually just hang out on the couch and watch some movies, FaceTime my buddies, grab a glass of wine and yeah, that's about my day. Timo, that sounds like vacation for me, relaxing in Switzerland with some wine. That sounds like something me and my wife would like to do. You're getting to do it right now. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm not uh, complaining too much. I uh, hear like you. I, said, I, I hear you. So uh, pretty fortunate. 